to the much waited, the much awaited, the much anticipated rivalry between two big rivals of the Malaysian region. And it's Asia sign on the blue side going up with Honor MYA on the red side. Honor MYA already drawing first blood with one win in their pocket. That's right, Asia sign going for the first band this time around. Will be taking out that Cho. That's the not enemy wanted is to be on Honor MYA side right here. An interesting band right here, but Cho is uh, really one of the top picks right here with 55% win rate so you know batting out the Cho especially Your when Honor MYA banning. does play a really really mean Cho right here Padel playing that Cho to the you know shaking the core of Edge Asylum anytime that Fanny flies in the Cho will kick him to oblivion uh, kick Fanny to oblivion right here into the grey screen simulator I think it's a very wise choice coming in for the side of Edge Asylum to ban out the Cho however they just have to be very wary on Ooh. what kind of the enemy other options that MYA could have. I think high loss could be a very good option. As well. As well, so... Taking away the Cho does not entirely fix the problem. Mm -hmm. However, it does take away one of the tools that MYA has been using to lock down high priority targets. So, it could be a little bit of an interesting... Uh, how to say? It could be a very interesting uh, turn of events here to see that teams like Asia Cyan feels that their current throne as being one of the top teams the here in Malaysia is, is under picking. threat. And under threat by, no offense to MYA fans out there, a middle of the tier pack in MYA because I'm, I'm saying that mainly because that where MYA is in the entire standings. So I feel that. Despite the fact that MYA is a strong team, they shouldn't be giving this much of a hard time towards Asia Sai in my opinion. That's what are your thoughts right. on that? I do agree with that and we're looking at a Jawhead and Hayabusa band right into a Solo's Hellcat pick. And we did mention earlier that Hellcat has 100% win rate for Air Asia Science team exclusively. Your they team have not lost picking. any games when they pick up Hellcat and Honor MYA going for the Bane. It worked before and it could work for them again. Picking up the uh, Martis as well for themselves, but the curse of the stats could be the problem for them right here. Martis having the lowest win rate despite being the one of the top band heroes right here. So picking up the uh, Martis could be a problem for MYA, but it could be a good synergy as well if if Shadow uh, or uh, if Honor MYA does know how to play the Martis really well. If they're synergizing the Martis picking. into a great composition right here. They do have the uh, Angela to top it off. If Angela uses her ultimate onto Martis, that would be really, really great for them. What about the Selena pickup and this Natalia pickup for the side of MYA? They did pick up the Natalia in the previous game and it was very, very effective on Nina. Well, what do, you feel, do you feel that Your this just goes to picking. show that MYA is confident in their approach or are they rigid in the fact that they don't want to exercise any other variety? Because I'm pretty sure that they can find another assassin hero that can do what Natalia does but better. So far, it has worked before for them and they would love to, uh, to uh, do it again right here. They are trying to be comfortable because it's comfortable for them to win against ASU Science. So they're picking up the Natalia and especially Nina being really really great the at enemy that is uh, picking. hero right here along with Padel's Selena right here along with the high loss so I, I think it's a, it's a pretty solid composition you know uh, having uh, some heroes they have used earlier being picked as well Asia Cyan needs to come back from their loss early on and will be facing on the MYA yet again. Alright, so high loss will be picked up for the side of MYA like I predicted. Uh, I do like it. Akai now on the side of Asia Cyan. So there are a little bit of differences here. However, I do feel that with the lack of a... Uh, I mean, when we look at it, I think most of the CC priority is most likely going to go towards Natalia, mm -hmm. Selena and Martis, Bane as well. So looking at the side of uh, Asia Cyan, Saber, Akai, Kaja have got to focus a lot of their CC on the high priority targets. Helcut, Vixana, and Sab Helcut and Vixana, I think, are going to be most of the damage providers here in a lot of these team fights. So, um, when we look at it from this point of view, it's going to be 
very interesting to see how Asia Sign is going to get is going to translate those that damage into a meaningful team fight whereby they're able to uh, reap the rewards the of a good fight. Right, I'm sure Smash that uh, the Asia Sign fans are going crazy All and cheering for them right here, right now as the game commence. We've got A Asia Zion versus Honor MYA. Asia Zion on the blue side, Honor MYA on the red side right here. A little bit of a in wait coming in from Honor MYA on the top side of the map trying to go for the proxy farming while uh, Nina just uh, walks back into the tar into her turret for some reason. Bane and the Martis, you know, being checked by the Akai right here, along with the uh, Hylos coming in from the Honor MYA side, wanting to stop Solos from taking his buff right here. Alright, so early buff rate here coming in from the side of MYA. Will they overcommit to it and actually wow. land into trouble? Wow, oh, they get the first God. blood! Holy cow, what's going on here? On the oh, MYA. there goes another one, King Fredo now landing that stun onto three. There goes the teeth of Ashura there. Uh, Grix now, not too far off, trying to get a little bit of damage here. The stun goes long and it seems that it could be King Fredo that goes down next. But they've got to be careful, MYA cannot overcommit into that fight. Ash Josiah losing first blood to honor MYA 3.2k gold for MYA already compared to Ash Josiah almost uh, you know one minute in already the turtle will respawn in 30 seconds and honor MYA is in a very good position for themselves right now this could break the 100% win rate for Solo's Hellcat yeah it could break it could break the 100% win for Solo's Hellcat here but like I said beforehand, you know, that they're never they're never actually 100% here whenever human beings are involved. <laughs> There's always a room for error Turtle here. So I think soon. it would be very adequate to see that Solos actually gets that 100% win rate for his Hellcat notched down a little bit. It just shows how human he is. But at the same time, with such a perfect run onto that Hellcat, I don't think that there is any way that Asia Sire wants to lose this. Off screen, we do see DA is getting taken down from the side of Honor MYA, and it was a good one coming in from Asia Cyan. So, we do see that there could be an early, early turtle pick up, turtle raid, I would like to call it, uh, early on here. Oh, we do see Nina now in a lot of trouble. Nina going into the into the small oh, screen. Oh, Nina! Nina. Nina almost getting it, the flicker wasted in terms of trying to get that kill on. Wow, 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 wow. Asia Sion did try to engage the turtle right there though. Oh, look at it, Akai. Oh, he gets spinned on and it seems that uh, Asia Sion now has adjusted. We do see that they are starting to take an early lead here, but it is reminiscent towards the previous game where Asia Sion had an early lead and they just lost it with MYA's good adjustment. However, this could be different here. We do see that. Oh, oh the pull! Griggs An getting it and slain. getting it down. That was beautifully done. And it's going to be Logan the Wolverine that gets the kill credit onto Shadow with the ultimate. Nicely done. Griggs was just very, very intelligent at setting up that pull on the ultimate. The Divine Judgment was just really good to set it up. And just pulled him into the hands of other members of Asia Sion. Asia Sion now has the lead. Will they be able to maintain it though? Ashura's teeth goes down to Griggs and Griggs could go down here. You and have Griggs been gets taken down with the execute by Padel. Four minutes into the game right here. Akai is trying to secure the location. This you know location, location, location right here. Asia Cyan trying the you know, hardest to stop on a MIA from taking a turtle right here. Akai will be looking to engage right here along with the saber, but there's four people right here. For Honor MYA and we don't know how oh, this will go. Oh, will they get it? No, the they won't. The steel was not available. The They're coming in, but the ace was gonna get taken you down from the side of King Fredo. King Fredo spinning to win, and there goes the slow coming in, and it's not going to be enough. However, Asia Cyan will be happy to just walk away with one kill. Despite the fact that MYA walks away with the turtle. They do get uh, some kills right there for themselves right here. Solo soloing. Uh, the lane right here against Natalia will be seeing the timer on that Lord right here uh, being spawned right here. So he solos solos his job is just to farm up until he's strong enough to carry uh, Asia Cyan into the late game right here. But so far Asia Cyan uh, leading in terms of the kill difference right here. 
Oh, as you can see right here, Marty's trying to run away from that bait. It's not going to be good as the fight's going to go on. Keep Fredo spinning to win, and the ace will take most of the damage. There, there goes the long range stun coming in from the side of Shadow, but it's Your not going to land into anyone solo. Giving up his name, misses off onto Nina. Nina going back and gets away. Nicely done from the side of Nina using the perfect stealth here. But we do see all oh, of the jump is good coming in from King Fredo. Fredo does not have his ultimate to spin around. He's already used it, so it is still on cooldown. Wise choice for the side of Edge, just trying to just back away and just decide, hey, you know what? We don't want any of this. Let's try to get priority over onto other lanes. Hey, Josiah coming back from the early disadvantages. And right now, Natalia is roaming around the bottom side, wants to shut down this uh, Solo's Hellcat. So they, he, she do spot uh, Solo's Hellcat, try to farm right here, might take him down right here. Natalia does slain. take down the Hellcat. And we got 20 seconds until the Lord is spawned right here. It, it can't be good for Aegis Iron to it lose Hellcat. It can't be the good turret. right here. It to, definitely is. Yeah, it, to lose uh, Hellcat solo in this kind of timing right here. We got 7 seconds, 5. Four, Lord, three, resurrecting two, soon. One until it happens. MYA is securing the position really, really closely. Right here, Logan, the Wolverine, trying to clear the waves right here. The stun might go on to Vexana. Vexana does not get stunned right there. Really, really close gameplay from Honor MYA. Gripax trying to look for an opening in the middle lane. Oh, dodges the stun right there from Selena on the top side. However, I lost. It does have the large pathway. Just take slain. down the Jahat Kakap right there. Saber will not survive that. And right now, Natalia is being sandwiched in between Solos and right. Fredo. Solos and Fredo now gonna go oh. in. Oh, beautiful flicker right into the steep, right into the spin coming in. Solos now doing the amount of damage is gonna go. Nina will not be able to survive this. Tries to go for it, but you it's going to be Solos that gets the kill with the help of his good friend King Fredo. Six to so five. five. Fidel now in a little bit of trouble here. He's got to be careful. The long range shot misses. He does manage to land the stun. High loss not too far behind here. And it seems that uh, practically MYA is being counted at every turn here from the side of Asia Cyan. However, it's not too late for uh, MYA to turn it around. Griggs now has got to go for it. Goes has turret. been opened up. The Jihad Kakap has got to flicker away. There goes the triple sweep right onto it. And you have King Fredo an gets a kill. King Fredo gets Double another kills. one with the spin as well. Very good choice here coming in from the side of Air Just trying to use their resources with such confidence and such trust in one another. That's right. Really, really nice gameplay right there from Air Just Cyan. Hey, it's your Cyan, 20,000 gold to 17,000 gold. Let's look at the items right here. Akai building a lot of magic resistance against the Selena right there. There's only one magician. Uh, um, there's only one mage right there from Honor NYA and Akai. Uh, and uh, the Akai, yeah, and Asia Cyan right there. Akai being really defensive, really, really scared about the, uh, the threat of uh, Selena right there. It just shows how much Selena is making a difference uh, in the current meta right now. So as you can see, the gold differential is steadily heavily favoring towards Asia sign. There were a few drops in the graph, however, but it didn't go down all An the way to where Honor MYA was able to catch up to them. So if they maintain this kind of lead with about uh, 4,000, 5,000 gold advantage outside of Asia sign, oh. they will be comfortable towards this mid-game transition. Very good that coming in from King Fredo, he was able to recognize what he needed to do. But now because Glorious Pathway was opened up, it seems that members of MYA was able to escape a very good stuff here being shown by MYA to understand what is happening in some of these team fights. However, not very good for the side of Asia Sign to not capitalize on it. Oh, look at the amount of damage that Lamar has got to take there. The dive is going to come down there. Wow. The speed and the amount of damage that Jahat Kakab has is just too much for him to handle. Wow, you know what? I was talking about. Oh, the fight is going on though. Killing, killing spree right there yeah. by the saber. Going on the killing spree while spinning to win like a baby. Destroy the turret. We do see pressure. Building up, piling up over to the oh, top side. Nina. Long range stun here, but Nina will get Killing taken down. A killing spree going over to Logan the Wolverine. We do see now that our members of Honor uh, of Honor MYA having a lot of problems here in a lot of these fights. Right now, Asia Cyan is looking to dominate the game right here. They're you know, the positioning turret. themselves to take the Lord right here. Ace trying to go on to King Fredo right here. King Fredo as the Akai will not fall from this 
fight though. Green Packs jumps away. Oh, tries to get the pull on. Oh, nicely done here. You but it seems the Asian side has the upper hand. The amount of damage is going to be too kills. good for them. A Shut mega down. kill goes over Enemy to a mega kill goes over the Gricks. But at the same time, he gets taken down. Logan the Wolverine as well gets taken down. King Fredo, Souls, and Bajahat are the only ones alive. Three for two in favor of Asia Cyan. I feel like that was worth. That was worth it indeed. 15 to 7 already. 3 point, uh, 3, 31k to 22k right here. The gold difference is just huge for Asia Cyan. They're climbing to it the 10,000 gold. Uh, you know, uh, 30,000 30, gold, yeah. 30,000 yeah. gold already. And right now, we're looking at MYA trying to crawl their way back against Asia Science dominance right here. The Honor MYA fans should be cheering for them in the chat right now as Asia Cyan will be focusing on trying really hard to close the game. I mean, they themselves. are trying really hard to close the game. We do see that there's a lot of pressure being put up on the bottom side here for the side of Asia Cyan. Uh, defensively, we do see that Honor MYA is doing the right thing. They're trying to get, they're trying to relieve as much pressure as they can. However, with the amount of, uh, with the amount of damage that Asia Cyan has in a lot of these team fights here, it could not be wise for them. We do see that the ultimate coming in from the side of Logan will get taken down already. Solos living up to his name, Solo in the bottom, but oh no, turret. Nina now goes in for it and it's gonna be bad. Oh, Nina no. taking him down, Solos goes down solo, however, over to the mid side. Beautiful divine judgment, and there goes the mega, mega kill. kill going over towards the side of King Fredo. And there goes another one. You another one coming in from the side of Grix, just like the DJ Khaled song. They are going to be pushing over to the top side, and it seems that the echoes of all we do is win. Could be playing for the side of Asia Sign if they play this outright. 17 to 8, 9 in favor, 9 kills, excuse me, 8 kills in favor of our dear, dear friend. You destroyed you know, what I like about uh, this game is that Asia Sign just goes for the heroes that are strong and also picking simple heroes that have huge impact, like Saber, instead of fanny that is complicated and really really hard to play uh com you know and they are doing really well right now so after uh, much thought has been given uh after losing the first game earlier they uh, you know they have been drafting the game really well and they're picking the right heroes taking kaya away from on the mya picking up the saber for you know picking up uh, the natalia right there natalia oh, nice one from Griggs there Ooh, spotting out no. nina this is not really good for Nina. This is definitely right not good, good for Nina. Nina could be in a lot of trouble Spots here. Spots him right there with away. the flying swords. Meanwhile, off screen, we do see that Solos will be able to get a fight here over to the bottom side. Oh, we do see Shadow now going for it. Oh, kill. Solos with the double, double kill. kill. And Nina now still trying to get away. Will Nina make the great escape <laughs> as they are fighting over to the bot side here? 21 to 8. And it seems that there isn't that much hope coming in from the side of MYA if this keeps up for them. That's right, Asia Cyan pushing the bottom side, uh, bottom side of the map, going for the base already. Your King Fredo and Logan is just turret. waiting for the creeps to reach them. King Fredo taking the tower shots so that the Spin creeps doesn't win. go, and Asia Cyan will take the game right here, drawing and on the MYA. Wow, My drawing it out. That was really good here coming in from all of them. I do feel that this was.